If many websites refer to website A, then website A is considered more important. Today, we will start our journey to understand the code of Google's search engine, the PageRank algorithm. We will aim to comprehend its functioning, delve into the mathematical principles that guide it, and eventually understand how to build the PageRank algorithm from the ground up using Python. PageRank algorithm is a kind of popularity contest. The assumption is that a website a is important if other websites mention A in their content using hyperlinks. What is a hyperlink? A hyperlink is a link you click when reading a website's content. A hyperlink is a citation. If many websites refer to website A, then website A is considered more important. As stated earlier, the PageRank algorithm is a popularity contest. The page rank principle is established on the assumption that the importance of a website is the summation of importance factors it receives via incoming hyperlinks. Also, whatever importance values come to a website via incoming links, go out of that website via outgoing links. Let us discuss this with an example. If you have a website, and let's call this website, website A. If you have two incoming links, that means some other two websites are giving parts of their importances to website A, then the importance of values that A is receiving will go out of A via any website that A is hyperlinking. If two websites are giving importance of 0.2 and 0.4 to the website A, then the website A will have a total importance of 0.2 plus 0.4 which is 0.6. This importance value or the page rank value of website A will be distributed into equal three pieces because it has three outgoing links and the outgoing links will carry those equal three pieces. That means 0.6 divided by three, which is 0.2, will go via this link and also another 0.2 will go via the second link and another 0.2 will be going via the third link. This is the assumption with the page rank algorithm. A website has an importance of x and if the website has n number of outgoing links then the website will be distributing x over n page rank value via those outgoing links. Here x is the page rank value of a website and n is number of outgoing links from the website. Sorry about my handwriting but I am speaking as well so that might be helpful. Let's say that we have this network where we have website A, website B, and website C. Let's draw the hyperlinks. There is a hyperlink from website B to A. There is a hyperlink from website A to C. There is a hyperlink between website B and C, one from C to A. There is a hyperlink from C to B. And also there is a hyperlink from C to C. That means there is a self-loop. Based on the page rank principle, whatever total importance values come to a website will be equally distributed via its outgoing hyperlinks. So let's say that B has the importance amount of B. It has two outgoing links. So it will be distributing the importance B divided by 2 and B divided by 2 to websites A and C respectively. Now A has exactly one outgoing link. Since A has the importance of A, it will distribute all of its importance A to website C. 
Now C has three outgoing links. Therefore, C will distribute its importance, which is C, via three of its outgoing links. Those amounts would be C over three, C over three, and C over three. Now we can write some equations. The importance of website A is equal to the summation of importance values received by the incoming links. Website A has two incoming links and those two incoming links are carrying B over 2 and C over 3. So the importance of A is equal to the summation of the incoming importance values. Now for B, B has only one incoming link. Therefore, the importance of B is whatever importance value it is receiving via that only one incoming link. Now the importance of C. C has three incoming links one from A, one from B, and one from itself. And the summation will be A plus B over 2 plus C over 3. We have three equations and we have three unknowns, A, B, and C. Basically for these three unknowns, the number of solutions can be infinite because we don't know the summation of these three values. We don't know what the total amount of importance values can be. If we want to make the importance values of those websites look like probabilities, then we can say that the summation of all the importance values of all these websites would be 1. That means we can add another equation A plus B plus C equals to 1. So at this point, we have 4 equations and we have 3 unknowns. Using algebra, we can find out what would be the values for A, B, and C. But note here that internet is quite big. You can have billions of pages in the network. Even if you are not using the entire internet, you can have millions of nodes in a network. Therefore, trying to solve it using basic algebra is not really feasible. That's why now we'll be looking at matrix formulation of how to find out what the values of A, B, and C would be. That means what the importance values are pages rank values of A, B, and C will be. To do that, let me construct the adjacency matrix of this given network first. So I am constructing the adjacency matrix. I am constructing this adjacency matrix in such a way that the columns represent the source nodes and the rows represent the destination node of the hyperlinks. There is one outgoing link from A to C. So in the column A and in row C I put a 1 because there is an outgoing link from A to C. B has two outgoing links and those two outgoing links are toward A and C. From C there are three outgoing links. One is going toward A, another is going toward B and the last one is going toward itself. The network has six hyperlinks. That's why the summation of the adjacency matrix is six. The blank cells will contain zeros. From the adjacency matrix, we will be constructing a transition matrix. What is a transition matrix? The transition matrix holds exactly the same thing as adjacency matrix, but in terms of probability. That means the size of the transition matrix will be the same as the adjacency matrix. To compute the probabilities, let's sum up each column of the adjacency matrix. The summation of column A is 1 because 0 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 
the summation of column B is 2 because 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 2. The summation of column C is 3 obviously because 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Now let's divide the cells of each column by the summation of that column. Therefore this cell becomes 0 divided by 1 which is 0. This cell becomes 0 divided by 1 which is 0 and this cell becomes 1 divided by 1 which is 1. Now the summation of the second column that is column B is 2 so all cells of column B will be divided by 2. As a result this cell will contain 1 over 2. This cell will contain 0 over 2 which is 0 and this cell will contain 1 over 2. The summation of the third column of the adjacency matrix is 3. Therefore, each cell of column C of the adjacency matrix will be divided by 3. Now, notice here that the summation of each column of the transition matrix is exactly 1, indicating what proportion of the importance of a particular website is distributed via the outgoing links. For example, A distributes one of its, that means entirely, its importance to website C. B distributes half of its importance to A. B distributes zero of its importance to B. B distributes half of its importance to C. C distributes one third of its importance to A. C distributes one third of its importance to B. C distributes one third of its importance to C. This transition matrix plays a vital role in the page rank algorithm. Now that you know about it well, understanding page rank will become easy pizza lemon squeezy. Is it easy peasy or easy pizza? Anyway, watch out for the next video which will start from where we end this video. I might have earned a like since you came this far in the video. Go ahead and smash the like button. If you did not like the video, hit the dislike button. And also make sure to subscribe so that you can like a future video.